Okay, so we're here with Eddie Hoyland, former Irish professional boxer. Eddie, you're training young Carl mm -hmm. McDonald. You've walked through him for, for years, he's, he's just been yeah. telling us there. Um, Tell us a little bit about Carl. He's basically one of our own. I think he's the last one of Golden Cobras, basically. Um, he uh, After my dad died, um, he came to me and asked me to train him. So I trained him. So myself and Tommy, have our own boxing club here at N7. So we decided to train Carl and into the, into the intermediates. Um, he won them, which was very great achievement for Carl. Like he's been he's been boxing since he was 12 and never had the never had the, the opportunity of winning a title. So eventually he got one. So maybe it was a blessing in disguise from my dad, like that when he died. Um, he was with Carl basically and, and myself, Tommy. And Joser and Paulie, we all trained Carl when my dad did it, and he won the, the intermediate title. So after the intermediates came, he uh, asked me could he turn pro. So I said, yeah, no problem. We'll train him as I'm training. Uh, I was training training Jay Bourne at the time. Um, so Carl asked to train. So I says, yeah, his style suits the pro games as it is. But a lot of people would know Carl as a fighter. But in the intermediate, so he changed him into a boxer. So it kind of stunned a lot of people and he won the title. So um, with that, we we started training and then for pro boxing. He had his first pro fight up in uh, the Devon, no, not the Devon, it's the Europa, um, I think it was, on a Mark Dunlop show. And he won a, a KG uh, Johnny Man, he had um, so far from. I think it was Poland, but he was cagey enough. It was a good scrap for Carl. Uh, good four rounders he got in. Then uh, a couple of shows, he was supposed to be on that fell through, so he was just waiting around. And then he got the the chance on the the, the, the Celtic clash. Team, you're, it? you're a boxing man, Eddie. See, how good is how good is Carl? How far can he? You know, um, my ex, ex, expectations of Carl, he will be Irish champion at his weight. Um, whether or not European, he'd be European level if he stays with it, if he's dedicated himself to it, he could be a European champion as well. But at the moment, like I would say, if if if, if, if the opportunity happens, he'd be a Irish champion. In terms of young lads going into the program, you, you have a lot of it. How many pro fights did you go on total? Um, I think I only had 18, 18. 16 only. wins. And, yeah, only yeah, but there were 18 fights already. Right. <laughs> what about lads? There's lots of lads turning <laughs> over. There well, is, like, I mean, <clears throat> I have to say, uh, I, I think uh, a lot of lads turn pro. I think myself and my two brothers kind of put the path into the lads that are able to turn pro now. Because, like, just lads that are fighting, they're getting paid. I don't know, for four round fights, they're getting a the grand here and a the grand there. So, Jesus, we fought for nothing at, at most stages, you know. Only up until me two pro, until me two title fights, I could say I got Queen Leagues. I think I got two grand for both of them, you know. So I mean, like, and there's lads here fighting for six rounds, eight rounds, getting getting paid that much money. So obviously, when we when we turned pro, it wasn't a big uh, aspect here in Ireland. Like you know, you had the Brian Peters and you had a Bernard Duns and a couple of other lads that were were pro at the time that made it big, but. Your dad had a real go at trying to build he professional did, boxing in this did, country, yeah. didn't he? Um, I think he had uh, three or four pro shows on. Like, he, like the last world title that was held, I think, was in the stadium by my dad. My brother party fought on that. I came over to tournament for that fight as well. Um, but like the, the the man lost is. There's nuts on it, you could say, you know, but I mean, like uh, as I say to promoters now, like, make sure you have somebody behind just to back you the money wise, because if you don't, trust me, as a land of free mortgage in his houses and selling on cars and stuff like that, wish me dad did, I to see the man go through it. But um, he tried his best to get us the best in the in the pro game, you know. I think the best thing Patrick ever did was go over to the States under Tracy Patterson and Team Snooky at the time. He got his world title shot as well, like, you know, which was great. But um like listen, I was I was happy enough with doing what I was doing with fighting. Not getting paid big money for it, but I had a career as a pro boxer. You know, I have two titles to 
understand him. Two two good fights against Irish title against uh, Kevin O'Hara, which was a great fight. And then the the, the, the IBF international title uh, against Ushian Fagan. It's great, you know, but that's my legacy that we can have for my grandkids when we can say, yeah, look at these dads that we had, you know.